Right, so let's talk about exact equations. Before we go into there, look at these two equations. Equation 2 is familiar to you, right? We learned about those type of equations in the last video. What are those equations? Equation 2 is a differential of a function f, right? So we call it a differential of a function f. Okay. Now equation 1 is actually a differential equation. Now, yeah, it's a little bit a strange way to write a differential equation. If you haven't seen a differential equation written in that form, well, trust me, you can write a differential equation in that form also, okay? So equation one, a differential equation. Equation two, a differential of a function f. Two different things. Now, what is an exact equation? Guess what? Exact equation is a differential equation who corresponds to a differential of a function f. Now, that's a lot to take in. What do I mean there? That means if equation 1 and equation 2 are the same, you have an exact equation. If your differential equation is a differential of a function f, that means you have an exact equation. Okay? All right. So, let's see. Let's compare. Now, right hand side seems to be same. Well, dx dx same, dy dy same. So, it's look both of them are similar, but not exactly, right? But if you I want one to be same as two, what do I need to happen? What do I need? What do I want? These two to be same, right? So, if m is partial derivative of f with respect to x, and if n is partial derivative of f with respect to y so then equation 1 and equation 2 are the same then you have an exact equation for 1 all right so what is it so special about exact equations okay now this f is the function f is equal to 0 okay f is equal to a constant so f is equal to 0 gives you this differential form okay all right now, now what is it so special about this differ, this exact equation? If you don't look at it closely, you will not see it. Now think, m is created out of a function f using its partial derivative with respect to x. Now n is also created out of the same function but partial derivatives with respect to y. So the special thing is m and n are created out of the same function f. That is what it's so special. Not every differential equation is an exact equation. Remember, okay, any differential equation that you write in this form doesn't mean that this m and n are created out of one f. There's only specific set of differential equations where you can write in this form and you can find this m and n in this differential equation that are created out of the same function f. That is where the exactness comes. That is why the speciality comes. Okay. All right. So look at this differential equation now. This is all what they give to you. Here's the differential equation. Is this exact or not? Well, m here is, m is what is in front of dx, right? So it's 2x square y. n is what is in front of 3x y square. Now, is this differential equation exact? You tell me. Well, how am I supposed to know, right? Give me f, right? If, if you can give me a f, yes, then this is exact. Without knowing f, how do I know? Even the, 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 the big question is, I mean, is there even a f? Is there is even a one common function where you can create both m and n? This given m and n. That's the question. If you can find a one function f, then this is exact. But if you can't, well, I'm sorry, this is not an exact equation. So how do we know? So we need a test. We need a criteria that help us to figure out uh, this is exact or this is not exact. Okay. So we are, what we are going to do in this video is to build a criteria, to build a test. 
All right, so let me tell you how the test works. So let's build the test first. It's easy, trust me. Okay, now let's assume it's exact, okay? So if it is exact, if it is supposed to be exact, m is supposed to be partial derivative of f with respect to x, right? n is supposed to be partial derivative of f with respect to y. If it is exact, you can create m and n out of the same function in this manner. All right, so I'm going to do a trick. Okay, you tell me that m is partial derivative of f with respect to x. So, okay, for fun, I'm going to differentiate m with respect to y partially. Now, we y with respect to y. What is the reason I differentiate it with respect to y? So, that's a good way to ask it. Because it is already, it is created by a function whose differentiate with respect to x. So, I'm going to differentiate m with respect to y, the opposite later. Okay. So, then that means I differentiate partial derivative of f with respect to x with respect to y again. Okay, so it's like I differentiate both sides of this equation with y. Now I'm going to do the, the same for n, but now I'm going to differentiate n with respect to guess what? Here it's y, so x. Yes, you got it. So partial derivative of, okay, differentiate partial derivative of f with respect to y, again with partially with respect to x. So I'm going to do this thing for fun. Okay, all right, so here's a cool thing from calculus 2. 3, a theorem, Clairette's theorem. But if you can't remember it, it's fine, okay? Let's say you have a function f, again, f. I will differentiate function f partially with respect to x first and then differentiate it with respect to y later. Now I'm going to reverse the order. First I will differentiate with respect to y and then differentiate with respect to x. So I do the differentiation in two ways, change the order. But Clairette's theorem says both of them are same. No matter which different, which, no matter the order that you differentiate. Okay, I differentiate with respect to x first and then y. I differentiate with respect to y first and then x. Doesn't matter. It's same at the end of the day. Okay. So what does that mean? These right hand sides are same. So then the left hand side should be the same, right? Partial derivative of m with respect to y should be partial derivative of n with respect to x. Now, this should happen if this were to happen. Okay? All right. So, that is the test. This is the criteria. This is the test. Now, why? Why is the reason? What is the reason? <laughs> why is the reason? What is the reason? Now, digest this. Okay? We want to make sure that there is an f. Here's the part. Okay, understand it. We want to make sure that there is an f, okay, where you can create m and n. But if there is an f like that, this will happen. So this will happen. These two will be equal, right? So this is the test. So let's do the test for this example okay so what is the partial so m is 2x square y so what is the partial derivative of m with respect to y here if you differentiate 2x square y with respect to y 2x square is like a constant derivative of y is 1 so it's 2x square all right so what is the partial derivative of n with respect to x 3x y square so if you differentiate that with respect to x you get derivative of x is 1 1 times 3y square 3y square now, are they the same? No, they are not the same. So, you fail the test. What does that mean for this differential equation? That means this is not an exact equation. So, what does it mean to be not an exact equation? That means this m you have here, this n you have here, they cannot be created out of the same f. That means this doesn't happen. Do you understand it? That means m and n cannot be created out of the same function f. There is no f. That is why we failed this test. If there is a one f, common f, this test will hold. Okay? All right. So that means this differential equation is not exact and 
we, we cannot solve it using the exact equation method, which we have to learn in the next video anyway. All right, so let's do another example. Here's a differential equation, 2xy dx, x square minus 1 dy. All right, now what is m? m here is 2xy, that is what is in front of dx. n is x square minus y. Now what is the first thing you need to do? Do the test. What is the test? Test says partial derivative of m with respect to y should be equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Now is that hard to remember? No. How do you find m? Here's the hint to how to remember it. How do you find m? m is what is in front of dx. So it, what is in front of dx. So m you, for the test you do the partial derivative with respect to y. So same for n. n is what is in front of y. So you take the derivative with respect to x to, for the test. So let's do partial derivative of m with respect to y derivative of 2xy with respect to y is 2x. Partial derivative, let's say partial derivative of n with respect to x is, what is it? If you differentiate x square minus 1 with respect to x, it's 2x. Ah, they are the same. Right? So that means what? This equation is exact. So what does it mean? That means this m and n you have here can be created out of common f and what is that f that f, oh well <laughs> what is that f that's a question for later so what is m m is partial derivative of f with respect to x n is partial derivative of f with respect to y okay because we passed the test now here's the thing you can mix up everything here now you might See, here I take the partial derivative of m with respect to y. Here I talk about partial derivative with respect to x. So it's all a mix. Don't get it mixed up. Okay, get it straight in your head. Given a differential equation, identify m and n first. Okay, once you have m, do the test. If you pass the test, then you can say m is partial derivative of f with respect to x and n is partial derivative of f with respect to y. Okay? All right. So what is what to do from here? Well, to learn what to do from here, we have you have to watch the next video. So if it is an exact equation, we have a method to solve the differential equation. But before we closing on, what is the solution of this differential equation? What are we shooting for if it is exact? We want to find f because if it is an exact equation, this is a differential. Differential of f. So f x y is equal to zero. F is equal to zero is the solution for the differential equation. So what you are going to do in the next video is to solve this equation for f if we know that it is exact and if we know that if we have, we have a f that means it's exact okay all right so then i will see you in the next video thank you very much for watching this video bye bye <coughs>